Welcome design students. In this video we're going to learn how to make an orange. And the orange is sort of like the apple only it's a lot more spherical. And if I turn on edged faces you can see the geometry that I've created here. I've also created these little objects that sort of supposed to look like those little stem things on the bottom. And we're going to create some kind of a stem but I don't know if we'll do something like that. I don't know that I'm very happy with that. So let's get started. So here I have a clean scene, and this time we're going to start with a sphere. I'm just going to put a sphere right in the middle of my top viewport. And then I'm going to zero out X and Y and move it up so that it sits sort of on the ground. And I don't want it to be perfectly round, so I think I'm going to scale it up in the vertical axis just a little no. I think I'll actually squish it just a little bit. Then I'm going to go to my modifier list and add an FFD 3x3 modifier. Open up the modifier and select control points and I think I'm going to try to pull this corner down and see if I can make it a little, just a little lopsided and maybe a little flat on the bottom. And then it should probably try to do the same thing in the left viewport. And let's take a look at that and see what that looks like. Okay, next thing I think I'm going to do here, I think we should add an edit poly modifier. So the first thing we're going to do, I think, is grab this top vertex here. And let's see what happens when we just pull it straight down. I think we need to use soft selection so let's check soft selection and dial down the fall off a little bit pull that down I think that's probably about right and then let's do the same thing to the bottom and pull that up a little bit not as much and now let's turn off soft selection and in the perspective viewport let's turn on edged faces and we're going to have to pull up those ridges that oranges have. So um, let's make sure we're in vertex mode and you need to pick one and pick these two I think and then pull them up and then maybe pull this one up a little more. Go ahead and pull them way up like that and then maybe pick um, two that are sort of around the circle, pull them up, and then pull that center one up center one up a little more. And we need four. Okay, now what we need to do is sort of round this off. So let's take the ones that are on either side of each ridge that we created and pull them up like so. And then we'll do the same thing here. And we're just trying to sort of round those ridges off a little bit.
Okay, so let's um, now see what it looks like when we smooth it. So let's uh, close this out here and add a turbo smooth modifier to it. See what that looks like. That looks okay. And then on the bottom, we'll do the same thing. We can uh, go back to Edit Poly and uh, turn off Turbo Smooth. And just pick maybe four of them and kind of pull them out. And then pick the ones that are outside. And pull them out and then maybe pick the ones that are just next to it on the outside row the next row out pull them down a little bit not as much and then just continue to um, round this off And sometimes the gizmo gets in the way, so you have to turn it off and uh, pull it out. See, I can't select here, so I'm going to have to hit Q on my keyboard. And actually, I think I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these. Hit W to switch to my move tool and move them all out. So on the bottom it doesn't have to be quite as extreme. And let's turn on that turbo smooth modifier and see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. So we have our basic orange shape here. And when we come back in the next video, we will make the little stem pieces. And then we'll sculpt it a little bit like we did with the apple and put a texture on it. And we can be done. And I'll see you then.